National violence, not domestic violence. Peaceful protests. They don't just stone us. They don't kill our two people now. They don't die down there. Nigeria, we wanna check them. I did ready. I did ready. Yes, sir. I did ready. Anything will stop. No, 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 no. no. I did ready to die today. I'm not afraid to say the truth. Yes. You don't carry anything, God. Yes. Yes, Yo. actually, it's unfortunate you can see him drop. Mic checking, mic checking. Carry your lipstick, Blumu. Carry it like for do. Hello, 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 hello. Peaceful protest. We do not touch anything. We do not do anything. They say they're not going to fight us. We reach Eagle Square now. They come, they stone us. Tear gas. They don't kill our two person for grand now. We don't do anything. They see they fire us. They, they fire tear gas. They, they fire shot. They, they fire bullets. Nigeria people abroad, make one attack them. Fight for our rights. Bad government need to come to an end. Enough is enough. Tinibu, we don't want to see you. APC, we don't want any more. Tinibu, bye bye. We are, we are tired of Tinibu. We are tired of Tinibu. We took the guys back home. We are hungry. We are hungry. We are tired. We are ready to go.
You can see what the Nigerian police are doing. Tell them they can't. You can see. The peaceful protest. You yourself, you are crying. Come on, come on, there now. Leave that place. You can't stand. That is it. They come. Yes. They go. They go. They go. They go. They move. They run. They run. They run. They run. They run. For day one was 21. But we feel that the figures are conservative because we have not been able to account for every of those the protesters that are missing across the country. On that first day alone, about over 1,000 protesters were arrested and presently still in jail, still in detention. This nationwide, this is a democratic protest of the Nigerian people. Uh, yesterday, which is the third day, for the second day, we also had a number of casualties, over 20. We are not also sure of the figures yet because of the inability to account across the country. Yesterday, in Abuja, where we protested, some se several people were arrested. Presently, we are trying to recover one of them, which is uh, Ayola Babalola. He's a journalist. But he joined the protest as a protester and is presently in Wuye Division Police Station. He was picked up when we were being dispersed, peacefully protesting. So, we are calling on Nigerians. And this is not a task. This is not a task for uh, just activist lawyers. We are calling on the MBA, which is the professional body of lawyers in Nigeria. The lawyers will have nothing else to defend by the time you know, tears apart the Nigerian constitution. If there is nothing to defend anymore, then the lawyers have no job to do again. The people will sort out their differences on the streets and it will be chaos. And so we are appealing to the MBA, which is the professional body of lawyers, to join in this struggle and ensure that across the country, everybody, alongside the activist lawyers who are already taking up this issue, Across the country, we get all protesters and detained Nigerians released. We are also appealing, because what we have heard recently is that the Inspector of Police instructed hospitals that if there's anyone with a gunshot wound, 
they should report to the police first. This is something that created crisis in this country last year, in Abuja, when someone was not treated because the doctors were waiting for a police report. The same police came and said, it is no longer necessary that doctors can start treating people. But because the protest is going on, they brought in that policy again and asking that if there's anyone with gunshot wound, the doctors should report to the police before they are treated. That only means that the police is preparing to shoot protesters and ensure that they don't get treatment until they are dead. This is the climate you are in in Nigeria. And everybody must be aware we are now in a civilian dictatorship. We must be very, very aware of that. And we must be ready as Nigerians to defend our rights to have a democratic country. Thank you. The only or uh, one of the most palpable mistakes that the Tudumbo administration made was the removal of subsidy. A premature removal of subsidy. When you have not uh, constituted your cabinet, when it, it was not planned, you just remove subsidy in a mere presidential address, inaugural address. So we are telling the president, be humble enough, remove the corruption in subsidy and restore subsidy. The, it is the corruption in subsidy that all the major presidential candidates identified, and all of them agreed that they were going to remove subsidy. Obi said he was going to remove subsidy. I think he said he was going to remove subsidy. And Tudo Munafe also campaigned that he was going to remove subsidy. So when he was uh, during the inauguration, he now felt he was being courageous enough and bold enough to remove it, since other presidential candidates have identified it that they were going to remove it. That is not the issue. The issue of subsidy, the issue with subsidy, is the corruption in subsidy. Now with the removal, we have all now realized that all Nigerians benefited from subsidy either directly or indirectly. It is not obvious to us. It is palpable. So now, the president should humble himself, remove the corruption. The corruption in subsidy was perpetrated and presided over by Mele Kiari, who is the, the group managing director of NMPC. Why is Mele Kiari still in office? Why is Tunumbu celebrating a failure? A corrupt person. Somebody that gave us false projection, daily consumption. Upon removal of subsidy, the daily consumption dropped by almost 200%. Which means Malek Yari and the man at the mainstream and the uh, uh, downstream and the uh, uh, stream and downstream regulatory sector in working in collaboration with the NMPC, they gave Nigeria's false projection of what was our daily uh, uh, consumption. And the, the former minister of finance uh, told us that Nigeria was subsidizing 18.3% something billion naira daily subsidy. All these things we are forced. Where, where, where is uh, the money that has been stolen in subsidy? Trump should probe the subsidy regime. First of all, remove the man that presided over corruption in the subsidy regime that made all of us to be suffering. Melek Yere, why are you leaving him in office? Probably because Melek Yere is protecting Trump's corrupt interest in the oil industry. If not, why would you still leave a man that has brought all this pain on us? All this pain on us. All the bad name upon your administration. 